but the fact is, all right. But the fact is, is that if you are, you know, you've got different, uh, um, you know, you, you've got different geographies in your lineage. Yeah. Right. You're kind of all over the world a little bit. We were talking. For sure. Okay. So then their response to you is then what? You're a sellout, or because this is what I've been seeing. Yeah, I, I haven't followed up on what they think, but. They do mental gymnastics. And the worst part is I always say, you don't have to like Trump. You don't have to be right wing, but just try to be honest about what happened. Like Trump won the election. There's a lot of things he did right. There's a lot of things that you could say he did wrong. Hillary, probably not the best candidate. I knew liberals who didn't want to vote for. Just admit that and try to evolve. Instead of that, they're playing this weird game of like, they're trying to justify why what's happening by lying about what's happening. So they're like, you know, anomaly must be uh, Russian. Is he from America? Like, I'm born and raised in America. I'm as American as it gets. Actually, I'm sure there's more people who are more American, but they, <laughs> they can't figure out because everything they're thinking is a lie. You don't have to like Trump. You could like welfare programs and be far left. Right. But if you lie about everything and you can't process, there's hundreds of millions of people who support the president for multiple his war policies, his tax policies, his boldness, his his humor. You know, they're, they're, everyone likes something different. And um, not everyone's a, a bad, mean person who likes him. So instead of being honest about that and trying to beat him, they're doing backflips and saying, white nationalists, you're all white supremacists, you're all Russian. It's really pathetic. And it's it's like, guys, this is not a good look for, for you. So I'm, that's my plea always. I'm like, listen, I don't want you to like Trump if you don't like him. But like, please stop doing this because it doesn't help me. And it certainly doesn't even help you. I, I know millions of people. There's huge LGBT conservative movements now blowing up. There's black conservative movements. We've seen a boom on the right wing like we've never seen before, all because of how they're acting. And right. it's like the Joe Rogans and the Tim Pools who are left leaning, yeah. but actually honest and likable. They call them right wing. And then they're like, why is the right wing growing? Well, because if someone's left wing and normal, you call them right wing. So you throw them in the corner and then you're like, why are you in that corner? You just threw them there. Joe Rogan's not even right wing and they, they can't seem to process any sort of, you know, critical thinking argument. Yeah. So, I mean, you talk about Rogan. Rogan considers himself left wing. Mm -hmm. Right. And but he's got more, I would say, libertarian values when it comes to government. Uh, are you, if you're watching him discuss things with, uh, you know, Jack Dorsey on Twitter, he's concerned about some of the things I want to talk to you about as well regarding, um, you know, people being, uh, you know, kicked off, booted off of Twitter and things like this. So so it's about the individual. But what do you say to those people that are taking a look at 2020 right now? And on the left, we've got this long list of individuals that their primary focus is identity politics for 2020. It's a self-eating philosophy. It's going to crush them in every which way. I was on a hike the other day talking to someone liberal in the film industry. Really cool guy. Like we agreed, disagreed, but really rational. He was telling me even though he's left wing, he likes Hillary, doesn't like Trump. He sees the backfire from identity politics. They're ripping down men out of their jobs, me tooing them. And he's like, this guy didn't do anything. I talked to my friend today who doesn't like Trump where he's like, people are telling me I got my position here because of white privilege. And this is my working class friend who works really hard and literally half the staff who has higher positions are Hispanic. Right. So it's like, they're not even white and they're calling it white privilege. So even if you I buy into that ideology, the left wing idea, it will eat you alive because it's not based on content of character. It's not based on individualism. It's not based on skill and honesty and integrity. It's solely based off race. It's solely based off sex, which is weird because they're always calling everyone else racist and sexist, but their whole ideology is racist and sexist driven. And they can't seem to understand hard work, self accountability and building communities from the ground up as opposed to, you know, always having only victim cards. You're the oppressor. You're this, you're that. You have to be this. You're a bad person because you're a sellout. It's really weird. So I, I see it working awfully for them. Maybe they could pull off an election win possibly, but even if they win, they lose. It's all gonna, right. It's like building a, a building with a silly putty. It's just going to fall. Wise words. We're going to continue talking about this right after the break here, and we're going to have another sip of whiskey on Whiskey Politics. Dave Sussman here with Anomaly at America's Voice News. We'll be right back.